I didn't want to make this video. I don't want to make this video. Uh, so, you beautiful people, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and everything. Um, if you haven't seen, Call of Duty just, you know, Call of Duty XP is going on and they just revealed Infinite Warfare Multiplayer. <laughs> and, oh no, I am very unconvinced. I mean, I mean, if you were to pick anybody on YouTube who likes Infinity Ward and like just had so much hope in Infinity Ward to create their own style of game, it would be me. It would be me, right? Like, I am totally like, you know what? Give them a shot. Maybe they'll do fine. This is just a 180 from everything. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't even know where to begin. First of all, this is... Uh, I, I honestly have no idea where to be. Let's, let, let's begin with one of the things I'm most upset with, and that is the, the specialist system. And there's a couple reasons why I don't like this. First of all, it's support lethal kill streaks. It's a no skill multi kill, and it's back and and just the same as Black Ops Three, exactly like Black Ops Three. There's so many things that are so powerful that you're probably going to get just just because just because you're playing the game because it's a participation trophy. I also don't like it because now this opens the door for character customization, and what that opens the door for is supply drops. And another thing that they revealed is that there's going to be weapon variants in the game and buildable weapons, which would be a cool idea. It's, uh, I see it sort of like the blacksmith in Black Ops 3, so it's kind of like just attachments and stuff. But they said like base weapons you can change, so like weapon variants, so like a la Advanced Warfare with very subtle little character traits that are different, like more ammo, or better range, or something like that. Like that, oh. Uh. Uh. I thought, you know what? Maybe the kill streaks. You know what? They, they do a good job with the kill streaks. And first of all, the, the, the couple kill streaks they showed off do look pretty cool. The thing in the air, the Thor thing, or is it the Zeus? I don't know what they called it, but that looks fine. But then they had like some sort of character trait that made all of your kill streaks support kill streaks. They cost more, but they were support kill streaks. So like literally the kill streaks, you just get support. And I just I don't I don't get it. I don't understand what happened to Infinity Ward. Like where where's the three three tier system? Where's the specialist? Where's the real specialist? The OG specialist, the good specialist, the balanced specialist, the for the gameplay specialist. I don't where the uh. now you're thinking donuts what about that that map not that map knowledge map control that map uh detail and complexity that you always like from infinity ward well funnily enough the announcer said they've built upon the first of all the black ops 3 movement system which is horrid um i've gone over my qualms with that. I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. It's not the worst thing in the world, but I, I don't like it. Um, their map design, they said, they catered to what Call of Duty fans love, and that is fast-paced, small, medium-sized maps, three lanes. Ugh. Ugh. It's just... I don't... Ugh. I don't... I literally have no words for how disappointed I am. I might be playing zombies from now on. <laughs> oh my goodness, because if this is the way it, it, it looks, and I'm not even getting started about like the weapons and the killstreaks and the tacticals, and just from a balancing wise, I'm not even getting into that. They have like a back hole thing. They have like some sort of throwing knife that like explodes. It's like an ID throw on people and it explodes. Like, come on. Oh my goodness. I'm just in shock right now. Like, 
Oh my goodness, this is what the community wanted. The community hated ghosts, and this is what they get. This is the community's fault. Oh, it's gonna be a rough year. Oh, it's gonna be a rough year. I hope I'm wrong. I really, really hope I'm wrong. The very core of all of these things that I dislike comes with a lack of skill gap. There's no skill in the movement system. There's no skill in the three lane maps. There's no skill in some of these tactical equipment and the specialists and the support kill streaks. I just... <sighs> It makes it very sad because I used to think Call of Duty was a very competitive game. I used to think, you know, like you can go in there and you could, I don't know, just, just have fun and... <sighs> I miss good players being obviously better than bad players. That's what I really miss because back when it was boots on the ground, Granted, with the support kill streaks, all that sort of stuff, back with like Modern Warfare 2 minus the noob tubes, all that core basic gameplay, the boots on the ground, the complex maps, basically those two things, and like limited kill streaks and all that sort of stuff. The good players would do just fine. And you could tell a good player from a bad player. Ever since Advanced Warfare, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and now it looks like Infinite Warfare, it looks like you're not going to be able to tell who's a good player and who's just lucky with their specialists. Like, I I don't know. I don't know. That's what I've got for you guys today. Oh, oh what are your guys' thoughts on this? I don't know, man. I... Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, until the next Call of Duty morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. Have a great day. But at least Zombies has bumper cars.